just wanted to shoot a quick video today to show off this uh, do-it-yourself stir plate that I threw together for next to nothing. Uh, we've got here is a case. You can use any case. I got it from a, um, a poker chip set. And we've got an old computer fan that I pulled out of an old computer that had a variable speed controller. As you can see here, this knob here allows me to set the speed. And then we've got the fan itself. It's actually just taped to a book right now to give it the right height distance from the top here. So pretty much a simple thing. Doesn't not a whole lot to it. And uh, we took a old power brick. This is a nine volt. Doesn't really matter how powerful it is. I don't even know what this was to. Some kind of little thing. And something I don't use anymore. So anyway, we stuck that all together. And here we go. We got our flask here. This is a two liter, and uh, we've got our stir bar here. This is a one inch. It looks like I think this is a particular model is a Bell Art. It's very nice. Uh, it's a cheap item. Uh, it's the only thing that you actually that I actually had to buy aside from the flask. I'll put that in there. Look how it centers right up immediately. As you can see, it it wants to be right in the middle there, and then we'll just plug this in. As you can see, it immediately begins to spin, and we'll just turn that up a little bit to uh, give it a little extra. And uh, we got a vortex, so uh, really cool little item. Um, aerates your uh, yeast and gives you lots better production. Definitely a very mad scientist type item to have around your brewery and uh, really cheap to make on your own for as little as five dollars if you don't have your own stir bar yet. Uh, but as you can see this is quite good and it will uh, certainly work for my application.